Hi everyone, uh, myself Kunal and welcome to my this tutorial, all you need to know about multi-threading. So in this we're gonna cover very basic, very basic of multi-threading, uh, but everything about multi-threading like what is CPU, what is multi-core CPU, how multi-threading works, what is different between multitasking and parallelism, what are process, what are threads, how uh, the overall architecture of the system work. So let's start. Let's say we have two functions. One is represented in orange color and one it in green color. And both have multiple steps. As we can see, uh, let's say both functions have five steps to execute. And we are executing all the steps of function orange first and then all the five steps of function green. Then this is sequential programming. Uh, like when you what you generally follow in your normal C programming or in normal C++ programming but let's say that all these five parts uh, have different different operations which include IO operations which include some text reading operations or user input operations and we are executing one part of green function and one part of orange function one by one then this called concurrent programming because it appears to us that both the functions are getting getting executed simultaneously but actually they are getting called one by one so this is concurrent program now let us discuss concurrency and parallelism if we have a single process like uh, for example a word application in which let's say it has two tasks t1 is writing task writing of text and t2 is spell checking so what we do when uh, we are writing a word a letter in a word or we are writing some text in a word uh, as soon as we press space bar or press enter spell checking gets started so there are actually two threads one involved i operation and one involves spell checking operation and whenever uh, t1 finishes its task whenever we stop writing or whenever we press enter then t2 gets started and whenever we again start typing then t2 stops so basically t1 and t2 are doing context switching and they are running on a single process using a single core machine but let's say uh, in parallel to writing you are also listening to the youtube or some music or watching a movie in background on browser and you are using continuous stream so there is no buffering uh, you are actually browser is actually continuously downloading the file and uh, you are listening to the music then it need another code to process that browser application then word and your youtube or your browser are two applications which are running in parallel so they need a two core system while writing a text in a word file and doing a spell checking basically need a single core system in which two threads are doing context switching so, uh, let's discuss what is a process and what is a thread and how these two are related an executing instance of a program is called a process so for example if you are executing multiple instances of a calculated program each of the instance is termed as a process so process is termed as an active entity and it disappears if a machine gets rebooted. A process has its own code segment, data segment, files and also stacks and register to store the local variables. Remember you store some variables while executing a function. So these local variables are in stack or registers. Or you can say every process has a single thread which has a stack and registers for the thread. Now in a multi-threaded process, there are multiple threads executing which share same code data and files, but they have different stack and register to store the uh, store their local variables. As so far multiple times we have used the terms CPU and core like a process needs a core or multiple threads can execute on a single core system. Let's understand what is CPU and what is core? CPU is the brain of the computer. It ensures the function of all components in the computer. CPU is also referred as the processor. CPU consists of two subsystems, arithmetical and logical unit 
and control unit. ALU handles all arithmetical and logical operations. There are CPU registers to store fast instructions and the results. CPU also connects with main memory to load the core data. A core is an execution unit of a CPU. This unit is capable of reading and executing instructions. CPU or the processor can have a single core or multiple cores. When a system has more cores, it is called a multi-core system. A CPU, uh, like you have heard also, a CPU with two cores is called a dual core processor. A CPU with four core is called a quad core processor. When there are multiple cores in a single CPU, it can receive many instructions and execute them on separate cores simultaneously. It increases the processing speed. Therefore, the number of cores in the CPU is a considerable factor in determining the performance of the CPU. It also implements parallel computing. The chip makers have increasingly adopted the use of multiple cores to increase performance. Each core runs a separate computing task, so the computer gets more work done. Before the rush to multi-core CPUs, computer designers sometimes put two, four or more single-core CPUs into a system. But there are many benefits using multiple core system over the many single core CPUs. First, a multi-core computer has better energy efficiency than one with multiple CPUs. Multiple CPU means multiple copies of the same integrated circuit sit on a circuit board. Multi-core chips save circuit board and packaging space compared to multiple CPU designs. So, there is an optimization in space and cost also. The core on a multi-core CPU share the same cache memory and other resources. So, they process a performance advantage over multiple CPU designs. The electrical signals between components travel shorter distance on a multi-core CPU. Shorter distance for the single mean, signal means they can run at a higher clock speed without degrading. Now let us summarize everything. A process run on a single core. It can have multiple threads or single thread. CPU scheduler decides which thread get executed on which core or which process executed on which core. A thread created in a program is called a thread in user space, which generally we do create in C++ or Java programming that are all threads in user space. As a program, can have many stages like input, output, reading, writing to database, etc., which do not require CPU cycles. So, multiple user thread of same program can run on a single CPU. That's how the concurrent programming or concurrency get achieved. But actually, if you want to run all the threads in parallel, each thread need to be executed on a separate core. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please click on the like and subscribe icon. Do comment me for any doubts. We will begin C++ multi-threading from our next video. Thank you.